welcome back to Quirky Q. I can't believe that February is almost over. I mean, next week we already will be in March. So I wanted to talk to you already about my February favorites for this month. So let's begin. The first item that I want to show you is this awesome pen hybrid stylus type of contraption. I got this for Christmas and I've been using it all second semester at school. Um, we're an iPad school, so every student has one and every teacher has one. And I love this because I can use the pen to write hall passes or you know, if a student has a paper they want me to look at or sign, I have that. And then on the other side, I can use my stylus to use my iPad and work with that. So I love it, it's a really cute design. This is from Monte Verde One Touch and it's the Skins line. Um, um, it is a fairly expensive pen. I got it as a gift. I'm sure that there are cheaper pens out there, but I've been using it the whole month of February. I love it and I would be lost without it. The next product that I've been using all month long and I absolutely love and definitely will buy a full size product of is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I actually got this as part of my Lorac Pro palette. It came with it and I absolutely love this. I put it on before printing any of my shadows and it doesn't matter what shadow it is. It doesn't have to be a Lorac shadow. Um, it is a little bit oily and wet. I want to say when you first apply it so I would put it on your lids and then maybe brush your teeth or work on your eyebrows or do something else in the meantime to just let it settle and seep into your skin a little bit but once you put on your eye uh, shadow on it it just makes every color vibrant it just shows the true color of each shadow it's not muddy at all and it helps your shadow stay put I have no creasing whatsoever with this primer it stays on all day long and I just love it I'm definitely gonna get a full-size product of this once I'm done and a little bit goes a long way this has lasted me almost three months now and I'm not even halfway through it it definitely is a great product. Another thing I've been loving this month is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color and this is in the number 320 Fuchsia Power. I love this color. It's just a really nice vibrant pink for February and Valentine's Day. Um, it's Sally Hansen nail polishes are actually really good quality and very cheap and affordable and they don't chip that often as long as you put a top coat over it. Um, and I love this color. It's very similar to the um, rose or tea rose color that is out right now and I think it's L'Oreal the one that smells like perfume and that one is significantly more expensive and this could almost be a dupe for it it's it's almost the exact same color and I don't like those perfume polishes it just smells kind of weird so this definitely is a great price and I love this color Another product I love this month is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. And I, over in Colorado and in the wintertime, my skin just gets so, so dry. And it starts getting really irritated. I break out a lot more because it's dry. And I need a really good lotion to put on after I've washed my face and used a toner. And the cool thing about this lotion is that it comes on and it automatically gets soaked up by your skin like your skin just drinks it up right away so it doesn't stay greasy it doesn't feel wet um, and it just feels so nice on the skin Clinique products are hypoallergenic they're really good quality um, and they do not I don't break out because of this it's just an awesome awesome lotion and I swear by it it's great Another product that I finally decided to just take the bullet and try it out is the Beauty Blender. And it just looks like this. It's just like this pink little spongy egg thing. And it comes actually really small. It comes in this little box and um, you're supposed to wet it and it gets bigger. And you use this to apply any kind of foundation or concealer. I use it primarily for concealer because I use a brush for my foundation. But I like it because it blends 
blends it really nicely and it does give you an airbrush finish. I like to use the bottom end for my concealer on my face and then I use the little corner up here for my under eye. I did feature this in my how to get ready in 10 minutes or less video so I will put a link down below so that you can watch that if you haven't had a chance to see it. Um, but I really do like it. It is really expensive for what it is. It's almost $20 for this little thing and you have to get rid of it after a few, you know, tries with it because it just starts getting bacteria on it. You do want to clean it just like you do with your brushes, but I honest, honestly, like, I like it, but not enough for the price. I think I'm going to try and find a dupe for this, which I know there's some out there where they're a little bit more cost effective, but overall, I do really like it. Another product that I've been loving this month is the Twilight Woods scent from Bath & Body Works. I have kind of been turned off by this and never tried it before because it kind of sounded like the Twilight books. It kind of came out around the same time and I was just thinking, oh gosh, they're just feeding into the vampire thing. Um, and unfortunately, I just didn't try it until now. Uh, a few weeks ago, I just ran into this woman and she just smells so lovely and I asked her what it was and she told me it was this so I said okay I'm gonna go buy it I'm just gonna do it and I am obsessed with this scent I have the Twilight Woods golden sugar scrub again because it's so dry in Colorado over the winter this is a great exfoliator for your tub and when you're taking a bath and I love this and what I love about this is that it does have the little sugar grains in it but it doesn't leave you dry after you get out of the shower you actually have this feeling of very soft moisturized skin and then I also really like to pair it with the triple moisture body cream and also the spotty spray and this scent if you use all three things really does leave and or it stays with you the whole time it lasts a long time and it just smells so good it's just this really warm scent and I love it for the winter time so these are some of my favorites the last thing that I want to talk about for February is actually a food item and it is the coffee mate caramel and coconut flavor um, and it's basically uh, made to emulate the Girl Scout cookies of the Samoas. I love Girl Scout cookies. They are very dangerous. Um, my husband and I can just go through boxes like no one's business um, and Samoas are my absolute favorite. I love these so much and now they have a coffee creamer for it. So I put this in my coffee and it tastes like a nice warm Samoa and it's probably a lot less than eating a whole box of them, you know, calorie wise. So I really do love these. I hope that they're not seasonal and that we get to have these for a long time because anything that's caramel, chocolate, coconut, I'm in. So that finishes my February favorites. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, share all this information on walls or Twitter. And don't forget to give me a little bit of comments in terms of things that you want to see next time or just tell me what your favorite Jan or February favorites were for the month. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.